Yo, what is up, guys? This is James Carter TV, and once again, we are here for my monthly uh, NBA Power Rankings. Uh, I'll be making one uh, for the playoffs once the regular season ends, but this is for my month of April. Um, I'm a little late. I usually do it on the first of the month, but you know what? I don't care. We're here. We're doing it. Uh, so let's get down to it. You know how we do it. We start off with the Eastern Conference. I'm number five. I have the New York Knicks. Uh, last time we met, they were kind of struggling with Mike D'Antoni, but guess what? In the uh, month of March, Mike D'Antoni got booted out. All right, Mike D'Antoni is now out of there, and the Knicks are winning basketball games. Um, I think they've been now, like, um, eight and three with Mike Wood Woodson under the helm. So they're winning games once again. Uh, they seem more uh, hyped. I mean, they want to do stuff, actually. And I do have them ahead of the Hawks, who have started to struggle. Um, I also have them ahead of the Sixers, who have really just not been playing well at all since the All-Star break. Uh, and I do have them ahead of the Orlando Magic, who right now are just, you know, just not playing well at all. I'm sorry. I don't know. There's this drama going on with them and Stan Van Gunny and How Dwight Howard. And the, if y'all guys saw the how awkward press conference, like, jeez. I don't know what's going on in Orlando right now, but it's pretty much a circus down there. Um, but right now, number five, I have the New York Knicks. Carmelo Anthony playing well. But Jeremy Lin and Amari Stoudemire are injured. They're not going to get him back to playoff time. So we'll see how it goes when they come back. Number four, I have the Indiana Pacers. They've quietly been winning some games in March. They did lose today to the Boston Celtics, which is kind of unfortunate. Which why I don't, which why that, which why I have them under the Boston Celtics, who have been winning pretty much all month. Um, but the Pacers still playing pretty good basketball. They stand in the third seed, but I think if the Celtics keep on winning, they may oh, supersede them. And I just talked about our number th uh, third on the list. I have the Boston Celtics, who have been winning games, and Ray Allen has been injured for a couple of these games. They surprised me. They beat the Miami Heat by about 19 points. They locked down the Miami Heat. And Ray John Rondo continue to play out of his mind. Kevin Garnett playing better, not like an old bum, was what sometimes he gets into that mode. So, this, this team could still be a, a, a sleeper. We already know about their playoff experience. One problem could be depth because, I'm sorry, Greg Steisma is not, a, is not good depth at all. I'm sorry, no. But the Celtics could, could be a dark horse if they face the Heat in the second round. Huh, it would be interesting to see what happens. Second, I have the Miami Heat. They've been proving a case why they should be number one, but I can't put them over. They just lost against the Memphis Grizzlies by 15 points. They lost to the Indiana Pacers by 15 points. They lost to the Thunder by 16 points. Uh, so they, there's some big losses. I, I don't know what's going on with the Heat right now, but sometimes they look like the best team in the NBA. Sometimes they look like in the middle of the pack. They need to figure it out. Mike Miller's going to be coming back. I realize maybe Mike Miller... Uh, can help the Heat a lot when it comes to the bench, but yeah, I don't know. They need to figure stuff out. Norris Cole hasn't been giving them much at all lately, so I mean, they they, they got to get their shit together. Now, at number one, I have the Chicago Bulls continue to win without Derrick Rose. Cause Derrick Rose though will will return tomorrow, uh, supposedly. I don't know who knows with Derrick Rose, but he's supposed to be coming back tomorrow against the uh, against the New York Knicks. So that'll be an interesting game to see. But with Derrick Rose. This team is the best team in the NBA, in my opinion. And Rip Hamilton has also came back. He's not healthy. If they can form some chemistry, this team could go all the way. Let's go to the Western Conference at number five. I was kind of thinking, should I have Dallas or Memphis? I'm going to go with Memphis. They, cause they, they got over the hump and they beat the Miami Heat the other day. I don't think Dallas can do that. They, they got blown out by the Heat. They, they're not that great against, you know, good teams. They lose to the Lakers a lot, so... I'm going with the Memphis Grizzlies, who have stayed competitive against teams in the Western Conference and could up upset the Spurs again. Who knows? i got to go with the Memphis Grizzlies at number five. Number four, I have the Los Angeles Clippers. Um, they got on a losing streak, and now they're back on a winning streak. They won five games in a row, lost to the Lakers, and now they've won two games in a row again. So Clippers kind of being up and down is why they're at number four, not anywhere Higher than that, I can't put them higher than that. Number three, I have the Los Angeles Lakers. They acquired Ramon Sessions in the trade. They also acquired Jordan Hill, but Jordan Hill hasn't played at all, basically. I mean, he's played like one minute of playing time. Apparently, he has a busted up knee, so I can clar clarify uh, for some of you that are confused about why he's not playing. Uh, Jordan Hill has something wrong with his knee, but 
I don't know what Mike Brown's doing with the, the the rotation for the Lakers right now. I mean, Godlock's not getting any minutes. Now McRoberts getting minutes all of a sudden. Don't know what Mike uh, don't know what Mike Brown's doing, but uh, that's why they're number three. They're 35 and 21. Number two, this is actually going to surprise some of you today. I have the San Antonio Spurs. I realize that now they have captured the number one seed in the Western Conference, but I still have to keep them there because they, they've been going on winning streaks and losing streaks all season. They're on a 10-game winning streak right now, but if you remember, they had an 11-game winning streak about two months ago in the, in the month of January. I can't put the Spurs over the top. I, I still think the Thunder are better than them, that the Thunder would beat them in a seven-game series. So that's why the Oklahoma City Thunder are my number one team in the Western Conference, still playing great basketball. They beat the Heat the other day, then they lost to the Heat by five at uh, in Miami, which is kind of disappointing, but you're going to have to live with that. Uh, what's the rest book? And Kevin Durant has some chemistry issues that they're going to have to figure out, uh, which we already knew going in, at the end of the season, that they would have to fix these chemistry issues if they're going to win in the NBA title. And we're going to see where that goes. But that's the end of this Power Rankings. Comment down below you guys just thought. Subscribe above for more videos. I'm James Carter TV, the most electrifying sports talker here on YouTube, and I'm out. Peace.